So I will show you a couple little things that I learned. Um, another tip they said, every time, even if you're working on it, you set it down, you pick it up again, they said always give it a couple twirls. So um, this is going to be the spritz and drag, I call it. And I don't even know if that's what they call it, but this is all you're going to do. It's just kind of, and then kind of give a little, make sure you touch everything. And be careful because, like, I'm, you see I'm getting it all messy. If, you know, if you want to use the other side of it, you're going to have to be careful that you don't get this. <laughs> but at the same time, one of mine did, and it was fine because Glimmer Mist just really adds. And then this is when you can kind of turn it around and let it bleed. I guess that's what I wanted to call it. Now this I'm going to let sit dry. I will wipe off my craft sheet. I don't want any other color. They also suggest spritzing this with water, but I'm not too worried about that right now. Um, I think now I will just spray some. Just kind of get you an idea of how layering works. We'll let that dry. I suppose I put that right on my... Here's another page. I was just kind of doing some stenciling. This is with a Tim Holtz grunge board, which I don't know about anybody else, but I really don't like the smell of this stuff. I don't know what it smells like, but it's not appealing. Anyways, um, that's using a stencil, and then just spritzing it with some um, peppermint stick. And then I went over it. You probably, maybe can't see this um, on screen or whatever, but... I went over with marshmallow and it gives a really nice frosty look to it. And then what you could do is um, you could either run this through an embossing first or after and then highlight the embossing with your little dauber thingy. Um, and then I will show you a little stencil. I hope I'm in camera here. I suppose I'm out. Um, Just find my little stencil. I had it. Well, the little stencil I had for the class I don't have, so I'll just use the one I in my personal collection. And again, just kind of twirl it around. And you kind of want to hold it kind of straight down. Oops. And they did say that um, all those little spots. So, you know, I could take this and dump it over on another piece of paper, which, see if it works. And then just kind of press down. There you have it. So that one, it worked. I kind of like how that looks. Um, but again, this you gotta let it dry. Especially, this is some um, life's journey, and it's really thin. It's not, you know, it's not um, double sided. It's real thin paper, so we're gonna have to really let this dry. But there's the two different. There's the stencil, and there's the stencil's image. So those are kind of cool. And then I could go back and add another color if I wanted to, or stamp on this, whatever. So now. This is still dry, or drying. I'll just show you the little dauber technique. Um, you know, I could add more colors to this too, but I'm going to wait a little bit because it's still just a little bit damp. But see, you just want to go with a real light hand or light finger. <laughs> And I do really like this little finger thingy. Surprisingly, I um, guess I was never one for tools prior to the last year or so. I kind of just did things with my fingers and cotton balls. So, this would be a really nice background. Then... 
I will see if I can get another color on here. They did suggest too. I was mentioning that before, but they dried before I, because I was talking so much. But all the little dot, the uh, extra little spots or whatever, you can get those up with a paper towel. In fact, they kind of suggest that it'll also help it dry faster. So there you go. Um, I don't think this is. I'm gonna see if I can heat up the drying time on this. And this is perfectly fine to do, too. I hope I'm in camera. Well, I'm going to see if this will... dry enough. I'll just put a little uh, clear embossing powder. And this is a grunge board too. Tim Holtz grunge board. I think I got that enough. Kind of curled up there. And then we'll just do a little, little bit of edge here. So, I hope if you haven't already, um, this is another, this is uh, actually too, this is what the, the tag board that we made, this is how it started out. Just so you get an idea of, these tiles were this color. And these are um, the Glimmer Tattered Angels Glimmer Chips. And you can do exactly this, all of those same techniques to this. Um, they've got a lot of neat embossing, you can paint inside here. Actually, I'll just see if I can quick show you that. Again you just spritz, take your little paintbrush and oh, I got a little spritz on here. And then just with a really thin fine paintbrush, well, they can get smaller than that, just do some little detail work. Oops. And even, you know, like going out of line like that, it's fine. Because it's, you know, by the time you get done misting and distressing, it's going to be just a nice highlight that'll add a lot to your project. So, get some Glimmer Mist if you haven't already. And if you were like me, that you had it sitting in your supplies forever and you, you know, didn't use it much, start using it. It's a fun, it's a, it's a beautiful and fun um, product to use. Thanks very much. Bye.